Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Dishonored. Yeah. Um, last time we killed uh, the Pendleton brothers, leaving their surviving brother alive. Caldwin's bridge, sir. We'll get our sleep later. This one's interesting because we have to go like straight through. I'm aboard when you're ready. Um, which is interesting because like part, uh, part of the last, part of the first real level is in the like night and then we get some new stuff that was earlier in the day and then this stuff is at uh, uh dusk you know me i love dusk um yeah this is this is an interesting level it's so linear but not in the sense that like you have to do things in a certain order it's just very straight, which I think should need a different name. He's smart. Maybe even smarter than Piero. Got the whole Dunwall under his thumb. Um, in the video game Metal Gear Solid 3, which is my favorite video game of all time, and I think maybe the greatest video game of all time, although I will say this game is in the running for that. Also Half-Life 2. Um I'll meet you at the arches under And maybe Chrono Trigger. God, I love this game. I should have played this again sooner. I have this bad habit of um sometimes when I when I play a game uh like for the channel I'm like all right now that's done and dusted and I never need to think about it again and sometimes I actually even forget things that I record and I think it's literally because my brain is like all right you recorded it you don't need to remember it now because now that there's, there's a digital memory of it you don't need to remember and like technically that's correct Technically speaking, that is okay, correct. Yeah, I got it. Severely. I need more men. Let's lead them to the house. Take it. Citizens and visitors to our city. By order of the region, the curfew is now active. Anyone? No foot traffic. No one? All right, cool. Attention all citizens. No pedestrian movement is allowed along Caldwin's Bridge during this period. Um, yeah, so sometimes I do, like, literally forget something just because I, I LP'd it. Because, like, my brain can be like, yeah, just shut off those memories. I don't need to remember it. If I want to remember it, I'll go watch the my own video. I will say it does feel a little masturbatory to watch my own video. Um, but, you know, I think that is technically a valid way to, like, experience things. Um, but I stayed away from this game too long. Uh, I got off topic. Anyway, um... In the game Metal Gear Solid 5... Nope, in the game Metal Gear Solid 3, there's a scientist by the name of Sokolov. I am fairly certain that this character, Anton Sokolov, is named as a direct reference to the Metal Gear character. So I don't know why we do it like this. Because I think we could just teleport over there. But, you know. There's no gravity gun or telekinesis plasmid or equivalent. So, you know, you do have to physically pick up and carry things. Third rail. Whoops. So if we were actually in it, like you're supposed to be, we could have ridden it over. But that's okay. Citizens and visitors to our city. By the curfew is now active. No foot traffic is allowed across Caldman's Bridge until curfew is lifted. Ooh, nice. 
Messy, but nice. But messy. Um, yeah, maybe I'll do a playthrough of this with, with um, all the difficulty on. Like, I have to ghost. I will say, I am missing... Because Corvo only has these six powers, right? And one of them's pretty generic. Like, this wouldn't really make it into, like, your Smash Brothers moveset, right? If if Corvo showed up in PlayStation All-Stars 2, you know, off the top of my head. Like, Rats is definitely something cool, because that's area denial. Bend Time is Time Stop. That's classic. You know, Wind Blast. That's cool. God, Wind Blast is something that I should really start using, actually, now that I think of it. Teleports behind you. Um, cause yeah, I, I, I like never used wind blast and like possession is something that you can use to, to stealth. Like that is definitely a, a stealth thing. Oh, this just goes in. Yes. I guess it doesn't matter if I'm going to like kill everyone. So, you know, um, yeah. Wind blast is something that like, I've, I don't know if I've ever seen except for like maybe my first playthrough of this game, which would have been back on the 360. Oh, is that gray in my hair? God. That was two console gens ago. One of the things is that like, it's really easy to ghost to ghost kill everyone because of one power shadow kill if you're a ghost that means that all enemies will always be unaware and it doesn't matter you know what happens because you can just reload the save but you know end of the day people are going to be unaware of you I love how they folded that mattress over it to like indicate that like yes you can go up there Um, which means that anyone that you kill will turn to ash and just go away and they'll be You know, they'll be not a problem And that's great Shriveled prick and a liar. It's funny Shriveled specifically, huh? Um yeah, in a, in a ghost playthrough, all enemies will always be unaware of your actions no matter what you're doing or what they are because if you're doing ghost, that means that you are unaware. Which means that you will always be able to take advantage of the shadow kill perk. Oh, hey. Uh, yeah, you'll always be able to take advantage of shadow kill because you'll literally always be in shadow. So, you know, killing everyone's really easy as well because no one will ever find those corpses. This one's a real gimme. I not this room. So notice that this door does not say indestructible. Which means it is breakable, but we might need... Oh, well. That might be something that we would need Wind Blast for. Let's give it a shot. Cool. Citizens and visitors to our city by order of the region. 
The curfew is now um but yeah and then not killing anyone and and you know getting caught is also not bad because obviously you know not killing anyone and getting caught is also fine you know and then killing people and getting caught is how you get more chaos you know So that's technically like a bad thing because, you know, that's both both easy options because it's easy to kill people and it's easy to get caught. And then getting both of those will give you chaos. I will say this game is like remarkably uh, like easygoing because as long as 50% of people are alive, then you're okay and that's not high chaos. So you can murder 49% of the city. How many of the, how much is that? Well, it's a lot, I'll tell you that for free. Hmm. I think it maybe it's this one. Uh, the way to truth is in the crowded streets. Continue to till you see an anchored whaling ship and the slaughterhouse. Find the slaughterhouse and the truth will be revealed to you. Uh, crowded streets, crowded streets. Hmm. The whaling ship, which has seven on it. There's more, isn't there? Well, not up here. I mean, there's roof, but I assume that, you know, you won't store your paintings out there. Three. At the whale slaughterhouse. So something seven three. Who? And where? It's like an actual puzzle. Kind of unusual for this game. Oh, I've got to actually read it, huh? Uh, Credit Streets, Whaling Ship, Slaughterhouse. That's like 7 3, right? So that means that we can brute force it. Ooh, big gold coins. Nice. Anyway, there's something that's in all these immersive sims. And it's a big, expensive way to kill somebody. And you will never see it. Oh, you're mad, but you're a survivor. Well, you do do this cult thing. Oh, hey, the outsider. Rivers change course over many lifetimes. Uh, he shows up to judge you occasionally as you like progress through the game. So, yeah, now we have a double jump. It says higher jump, but it is, that is a lie. This is a you jump once you're in the air. I love these incredibly weird but specific like shrines that they make and they ha they have a consistent like style to them. That was something. Yeah, this this one you can get a really good one. We have the actual Corvo Atano and his wanted for the uh uh Empress assassination. We have the murder of Campbell and the murder of Custis and Morgan. So 5,000 for him and then 
10,000. I don't know if that's in total, like you're going to get 15 or if they've just raised it. Because if that's the case, then each Pendleton twin was worth one half of the Overseer. Which I think is funny. Right. Damn, that thing always, that thing always blindsides me. Where is that going to put me? Oh, that's not bad, actually. Yeah, you're supposed to watch those things. So yeah, possession is arguably the most iconic power. The ability to just say that a, a character is now under your control. And then you just play as that character. Even for a short time, like, that's really cool. That's conceptually a fascinating idea, you know? Anything? Whoa, what? I am trying. Take out his legs. I love using, I mean, this is just video games 101, but it's always better to use the, um, what? It's always better to use like an adrenaline kill on somebody who's like full health. Cause if it just kills them end of story, then like whatever. So I forget exactly how it works, but I'm fairly certain that most of the abilities that possess somebody mean that you can ignore defenses that are designed to not work on them. Okay, good. We can't lose any more men to the arc. Touch the charger before the ship officer brings it by, and the arc pylon will fry you. Those things? Give me the willies, sir. You'll be thankful when Slack Jaw's boys come down this morning. It'll be fun to watch him turn to the hmm. I'm not sure of how to deal with this, actually. I totally blanked on the arc pylons. Maybe there's more because I'm in high chaos. Or maybe I've just... It's been too long. Okay, good. We can't lose any more men to the arc pylons. Touch the charger before your ship when the duty officer hmm. is it by, and the arc pylon will fry you. Those things? Give me the willies. What? Eat metal. Damn you! Clear the alarm! For the watch! Clear the line! Take it! Man, a lot of you guys. Man, I don't know if I've ever played with the pistol upgraded this much.
Simple solution, right? Oh, this opens up something for me. It's not really that worth it to hack alarms. Well, it's not worth it to me. If I was trying to make it so that, like, somebody who raised the alarm didn't, like, you know, wasn't able to snitch, then yeah, but... That's not, that's not a focus of mine right now, you know? So if I wanted to, I could slap a uh, rewire onto that now. And I just had a memory. I'd gotten home from school. I was playing Dishonored. And I was thinking about these stairs and the concept of like stair stabbing in Team Fortress 2. And I successfully did a, a like air assassination, like a drop kill for the first time. This game's art design is so good. Possession is another power that's really good for stealth, just because, like, it's the ultimate disguise. Although, I'm not sure of what counts as, as getting caught. Like, for you to count ghost, like... Do you, like, do you have to not? What for? The lights are working perfect. Well, there's nothing to do. And I love you. Where? Oh, these guys. What is this? Oh, it's a... Right, okay. Can I break this? down the middle. Now I'm out of that cell. I'm feeling myself again. I don't even know what you're talking about, my guy. I love how he has to, like, go lock into the animation. He's a pretty burly guy, but he can still move. I appreciate that. As somebody who is a burly guy, but can still move. Is that enough? So canonically they have a whole bunch of like... Oh, there's more than I thought. Canonically river crusts contain um, pearls. Which is why we're able to get money out of them. Crest Pearl right there. You can kind of see the model being all roundy. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, we need to sneak up on it. Anyway, sometimes it's hard to like justify using wind blast because like it's the it's the thing in your in your toolkit that is like so loud and expensive. Locked down. I was afraid of that. That key will be on one of those guards. It's up to you. Like it costs a lot of a lot of mana compared to just like blinking behind somebody and stabbing them or just even walking up to them. Um It won't necessarily give you as much. Alright, I gotta start using rewire tools. It won't necessarily give you as much, um... Like, time to kill somebody as... Like, slow time or time stop does. Um, and like it's very destructive, which might be a downside. Might be. But for like a heavy kill, heavy, like, heavy kill, no stealth playthrough. Come to think on it, there aren't many honest men left these days. Oh, you're trying to. Is this because I already swiped the pearls or what? I like that he had to rinse his mouth first. Makes sense. Um. What the hell was I talking about? Sorry, I've never done that before. I didn't even I didn't even know that that was in this game. That's another thing about this game. Every time you'll find something new. Maybe not every time. I imagine that like after like five playthroughs, you'll have seen everything. High stealth, high chaos, low chaos, no kills. That's like five playthroughs, right? And then just the one playthrough that's like whatever. But yeah, I guess the, the one thing that Windblast has going for it is that it's way cheaper on runes. This is one of my favorite things about Dishonored. This is legitimately one of my favorite things. So magic works with like this weird tattoo thing that you have. You know, it glows whenever you go to cast something. And you almost have to be like a warlock to to be uh, uh, to be anything because it's it's random crusts because you only, you basically have to get like randomly selected by the the outsider to be something you know God, please. This is good money, though. Okay, um... Nice. 
run around being aggro. More arc pylons, huh? Um. Hmm. Oh, this, right. So it's possible to, like, actually get caught in here and just get, like, chewed up. But maybe if we... Yeah, hey, that's pretty painless. All right. Oh, these paving stones have a weird bounding box on them. Look, I can't walk past them. That's unusual. <laughs> um, we'll talk about that music later, actually. Any chance that this works? Nah, all right. Anyway, yeah, I'm very fond of the of the wind blast, but like you never get to use it. Like it's cool, and the idea of like Corvo, like Corvo doesn't really have like any elemental powers. He's mostly just like like <laughs> what element is rats, you know? And like he has a bunch of stuff that like befits a man named after the crows. Like he can teleport. He can stab guys really good. Um, he can summon rats, and he can possess people. Like, those are all really good powers. Is Help me. Um, and then his only, like, properly offensive magic, because, like, rats doesn't actually attack anyone. It just summons rats, you know? And then it's up to the rats to decide what to do, and it's just... The rats, in Corvo's case, love violence and will go out of the way to eat someone. Um, so he doesn't actually have any abilities that, like, you know, kill besides Windblast. And Windblast doesn't even actually kill. Which is kind of interesting, you know? It just knocks people down and allows you to stab them. Although I think you can upgrade it to kill. So this is like a puzzle side quest thing where we can like throw this corpse down. There's this really interesting thing where, ooh, that one's good. Take care of the rats, please. What? Why not? I didn't even know she'd have a line for that. Thank you for helping me. I thought it was safe. So many rats. Interesting. I didn't know that she'd have unique dialogue for that. I know some folks aren't superstitious, but I swear, the rats showed up after a man came through, waving around an amulet of some kind. It looked like it was made of bone. But he's dead now. Traditional. Traditional. who were living here. Ugh, gnarly. But yeah, Corvo has a fascinating moveset, I'll say. Like, just a whole bunch of sword normals, right? And then... Silent Crossbow. Burn Crossbow. Sleep Crossbow. Which are just variations on the same crossbow. And like, it's a good damn crossbow. I'll say that. Um, but it is just a crossbow. And then the pistol is, you know, a flintlock, but it, like, appears to have room for more than one bullet. You're just standing here. Was that just karma? Because if that's the case... Evil playthrough, remember? That's Sokolov, by the way. Oh, this is probably a good place to cut the episode. 
Uh, I've been Alfred. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I know I did. Uh, I'm going through Dishonored at a pretty good pace. Um, and I'm happy to be doing this uh, in high chaos. Uh, I don't know if I should do like a hard playthrough, like really hard at all. And I don't know if I should do like, you know, no kills or all kills again. But whatever, right? Uh, I'll see you guys next time though. Bye.